Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another nice little travel trailer we're going to view today. A very affordable option for those of you that are still wanting, you know, kind of a late model camper but not wanting to break the bank or get a really high payment or anything like that. Today, we're going to look at a 2018 StarCraft Autumn Ridge Outfitter Edition. Model is a 26BH. And guys, this thing's pretty much hitting a, a lot of check marks for a lot of people. It's, uh, of course, price point, 16.9. Great price for this camper. I mean, this time last year, this had been a $20,000, $21,000 camper. Um, under 30 feet long and under five and it's only it's under five thousand pounds 29 feet four inches to be exact that includes the tongue the rear bumper spare tire on the back and everything uh sleeps eight to ten people and um it's a family floor plan guys you got the, the full size bed bunks queen bed in the front no slide out which to a lot of people they love that and i don't blame them i mean it's a nice little simple camper for a first time shopper priced right for a first time shopper too because guys don't go all in for your first rv and i've said and said that before you know if this is your first camper don't go out and spend 30 40 grand on a new camper you're not even sure if you even like rving or not buy something like this that you can use for a year and if you decide hey a year from now you know you you like camping or you don't, or don't like camping you can still sell it and not lose near as much money as buying a 30 40 grand camper and it's worth 20 grand two years later but you still owe 30 40 grand on it something like this guys you can sell this time next year for pretty close to what you paid for it if you decide camping is not for you or or if you decide hey like most people do your first camper what you thought you wanted and needed after after hours and hours of research uh, what you thought you wanted and needed in a camper is totally different after you uh, buy one and become an experienced RVer. Uh, what you thought you wanted and needed in one is totally different than what you actually want and need in one after using one quite a few times. And that happens to everybody, guys. Nobody ever buys the right one the first time. So anytime you buy your first camper, always buy it with the intentions of selling it or trading it in the first year year and a half you own it so and that's hard to do when you buy a new one so no first time rv -er. of course i don't recommend buying new at any stage but especially for your first time rv -er, never buy new and this is a great great price point for that first time rv -er. plus this is something too guys you can go to your own bank or credit union get a loan on you can go through one of our lenders get a personal loan for it if you want to so a lot of options with the camper priced in this price range. Uh, the awning's a little dirty, but it does have a power awning. It works great. Six gallon DSI gas electric water heater. Uh, it does have a little bolt on hitch. If you want to put a rack on the back for say a small generator, um, maybe a motorcycle for a dirt bike rack or something like that. that. That bumper is attached to the frame. So bicycle rack, whatever you want to put. Stabilizer jacks, spare tire, of course, double axle can't really fault the camper in any way despite the awning being dirty i mean you can see the the stripes the finish looks great great price too guys 16.9 i'm just so glad prices are getting back down closer to normal it was getting rough there for a while guys heck it got like this time last year any travel trailer under 20 grand was considered a rare occurrence and then usually a you know a 2012 model would bring 16.9 now you can get an 18 model for that so it's getting there uh 30 amp electrical service i'm just adapted down for my little generator so i can run the lights and stuff outside shower autumn ridge of course there's all your black tank and all that good stuff nitrogen field tires which i don't you know i know everybody's on this big nitrogen tire kick manufacturers are but hey guys i i think it's just a i think it's just a way to get more money but yeah let's look inside this little camper it's a it's a really basic little uh family floor plan i mean i've i've reviewed 
probably 100 campers with this exact same floor plan. They all sell very, very quickly. Dry weight, 4,700 pounds exactly. So very lightweight. And as we step inside, just a nice open floor plan. Again, nothing fancy, something that's easy to set up, something that's easy to use. You got a queen bed in the front with some mini closets on each side. There's some storage underneath the bed. You got a privacy curtain to cut down the weight. Forward facing or rear facing sofa, I should say, rear facing. This sofa is going to make a bed that sleeps too. Um, got some overhead storage up top. Kitchen area, two burn, uh, three burner stove top, double basin sink, microwave, six cubic foot, two way RV refrigerator freezer. That looks clean. Does not appear to be a live in unit. Not there's anything wrong with the live-in unit. You just have a lot more wear and tear, and you got to have it make sure it's priced accordingly. Uh, TV up in the corner does have a built-in stereo DVD player. I uh, did have a DVD to try it out, but I was listening to the stereo. It works when I was taking pictures. Books and manuals are in it. Table booth does make a bed. Do have a 13,500 BTU ducted roof air. Back corner, you've got two. These are pretty much full-size beds on their own, but we'll, we'll, they call them bunks. So you can sleep two to four people and, um, in these beds right here. One to two in each one. Up, oh, left you some toilet chemicals there. Or hold and take chemicals. Sink, and then your rear bathroom, which is just a toilet and shower and a tub. But everything looks good, guys. I don't see anything that cause of concern. No soft spots. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing like that. So everything looks good there. Just a nice little camper, guys. Just like I said, somebody just wants something pretty basic. But uh, still got some pretty nice amenities like the uh, DSI water heater. You still got the DSI furnace, which they all are now. But I still remember the old manual light furnaces. You got to be careful with those. But yes, yeah, they hadn't made those in 30 years. But the power awning's a nice touch. You just push a button and uh, bring your awning in or out. I put it out the best I could with this one next to it. I've got it for $16,900. Includes our major systems inspection. And our major systems inspection uh, includes us. And please listen to this carefully, guys, and I'll, and I'll have it in print in the video description below, but for 16.9, we will um, inspect and check the, um, of course, the tongue jack and the steps, of course. We check the plumbing systems, make sure there's no plumbing leaks. We check your water heater, make sure it works on all mode of operations. We'll make sure there's no plumbing leaks, make sure your toilets, faucets, spigots, and all that works like it's supposed to. We check your water pump, make sure it works for water pressure. CD water hookup too. Uh, we check and inspect your roof air conditioner, make sure it puts out the operating temperature. We check your refrigerator and freezer, make sure it gets to operating temperature on all modes of operation. We also check your propane system, make sure there's no propane leaks and all that's good. I mean, we're not going to sell you a camper that's got a propane leak in it. <laughs> and uh, of course, everything else is sold as is. That's how we keep our prices down. So. That's why I go ahead and go through these things and turn on all the lights. I put out the awning when I can. Um, there's a couple of blinds in here that are need to be restrung. I'll, uh, I've got somebody that does that for me. I'll get her in here to do that. So at least do that for you. Um, all the lights work. I turn on every light. They work. Stereo works. Couldn't get the TV to cut on, but um, like I said, we don't cover TVs. And it may just be the, I don't have the remote control to it. That may be part of it. <laughs> but stereo works great. DVD, it's got a DVD player built in. Heck, TV's $100 in a Walmart, guys. That ain't no big deal for a small TV like that. But there's no smoke or pet odors. There's no carpet in here. I like that. The floor looks great. No soft spots anywhere. It's a nice little camper. $16,900. Now, everything else, guys, that we that's not part of our major systems inspection, which again is in the video description below exactly what we cover 
uh, everything else is sold as is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So just like I said in the video description, guys, you need to either, and this should be common sense for anybody looking at a used camp or even a brand new one. You need to come look at it first and foremost yourself because pictures and videos help, but nothing beats actually looking through the camper yourself from your own perspective because nothing like, you know, actually laying in the bed or standing up in the shower or sitting on the couch and picturing you and your family using this and making sure that it's going to suit your needs. And you really can't tell that from a picture and video as far as size uh, perspective because, you know, everybody's got different wants and needs in an RV and, you know, yeah, you can tell the floor plan and you can look at measurements to you blue in the face, but your perspective of it's not going to be correct until you actually step foot in it and walk through it. So come look at it. And while you're here, if you want to do an inspection on it yourself, if you're an experienced RVer, you can. And or hire a third party RV inspector, guys. A few hundred bucks, you got peace of mind. They're going to go over, they'll go over it front to back, top to bottom, and list everything that they find with it that's wrong and right. And then you can use that to make a judgment call whether you want to buy it or not. Because again, guys, no matter what the inspector finds or you find, we only guarantee and fix those major systems that I mentioned earlier. Everything else is sold as is. Now, the awning works. We don't cover the awning, but at least it, we know the motor works. It goes in and out, okay? At least as far as I can get it out. So as far as, like, if there's anything weird wrong with it, I mean, the worst it could be wrong with, if there was a torn canvas toward the end, which I didn't see any indication of that. So the main thing with the power awning, you want to make sure that it goes, it goes in and out at least a couple of feet, and you're normally good. But um, and we're beyond that, so we're, we're good there. But, um, and again, guys, everything's in the video description below. Or if you go to our website, it'll be in detail on every single listing. Or you can call one of our salespeople and they can go over it and they can send you over a, uh, a paper or, or a form that, that goes into detail everything that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay. Because nobody's going to guarantee everything to work on a used, and, and lately, guys, not even on a brand new RV. And factory warranties guys are playing past the buck. So they're, they're blaming, if you've got a major claim on a new RV, which you buy a new camper, you might as well, especially if it's an entry level model guys, you might as well plan on the first 12 months you own it. Three months of that's gonna be at the dealership service department, uh, sitting in that service department yard while you're making payments on it, waiting on warranty authorization parts or whatever excuse they come up with. And a lot of times if it's a major claim, they're going to pay past the buck where the manufacturer is going to blame the parts manufacturer for the problem and the parts manufacturer is going to blame the RV manufacturer for the problem and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth while the poor consumer stuck in the middle and the dealer, of course, stuck in the middle because somebody's got to foot the bill. <laughs> I can't blame the dealer for not fixing it until they know who's going to pay the bill, so... Everybody's just kind of stuck out in limbo with that happens. That's actually getting to be a pretty common occurrence right now. And I've heard that from more than one person as well. Buying new is not always better. Trust me. I mean, that's just ridiculous what... And plus, you know, you go to a new dealer or even a lot of new used dealers. You've got the fees. You've got the upsells. Like this camper at a, at a big corporate dealership, even if it was the same price as this from the same year making model... Here at 16.9 plus applicable sales tax, that's it. The only option is if you want a weight distribution hitch installed, it's $500 with built-in sway controller. Uh, other dealerships, that's about $1,000 to $1,200 option. Plus, they uh, charge you dock fees, prep fees, destination fees, processing fees, happy camper fees. That can add a few hundred dollars to a couple of thousand dollars to that price. And then here comes the upsells that can add an additional five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars to the price. Extended warranties, gap insurance, vacation packages, tire and wheel packages, roadside assistance, all that stuff's marked up four or five times dealer cost. And most of it's not worth the paper it's written on. And none of it's dealership exclusive items. You can get that stuff, fraction of the cost away from the dealership. But they push that stuff on you because again, they got it marked up four or five times dealer cost. They, they can make extra money on you. So 16.9 at another dealership, 
will turn into close to $30,000 by the time you pull out of the RV lot with it. We're here at 16.9 haggle free plus your applicable sales tax. That's it. We can help you. We can uh, refer you to a local delivery company that can deliver it nationwide with a variety of setup services. If you need it, they can do a simple unhook and book. They can do a complete setup, leveling, RV education on site, and more. It depends on what you want, and we'll put give you their phone number, their website information, and you can get a quote directly from them. Or if you just want, if you're local and you just want. A simple drop off and go, we can do that here for affordable price as well with one of our drivers, but we only do that locally. We, we kind of got out of the long distance deliveries, our insurance costs and trucks are getting some age on them. So we're, we're only doing local or semi-local deliveries within a few hundred miles. And it's just a simple unhook and book and go. So anyway, and my salespeople can clue you in on all that stuff. And, and, and if you will need a long distance delivery, they can, give you our uh, uh, transport company's phone number. You can get in touch with them and they can get you a quote based on whatever services you want them to do. Because they can do a lot more than my drivers can do, a whole lot more than my drivers can do. But anyway, it's $16,900. It doesn't. We don't care how you pay for it. It's cash, uh, finance through our bank or your bank. We do have financing with approved credit, no dealer interest rate markup. Or if you trade or a combination of all those, it's entirely up to you. Now, most dealers now charge you more if you bring cash or charge you more if you get a loan from your own bank versus one of their lenders because they mark interest rates up or they have a rebate. Most of them have a fake rebate where they say, oh, if you go through one of our lenders, you get a $1,000 or $2,000 rebate that you'll lose, of course. If you go to your bank and get a loan, or if you bring cash or cashier's check or wire transfer, well, guys, let me tell you a secret. No banks, there's not a bank in the country that gives a rebate to a dealer or a consumer for doing an RV loan through them. There's not a bank in the country. All they're doing is taking some of that profit they make from the financing and just giving some of that profit back to the consumer. So you're going to pay thousands more and you'll get part of that thousands of dollars more back in the form of a fake rebate. But it's really costing you more to get that rebate than if you brought your own money. And if a dealership tells me, any dealership, I don't care if it's an RV, a car, motorcycle, boat dealer, whatever. If they tell me it costs me more or if I lose a rebate, which is the exact same way, th thing, it's just a different way of putting it. Or if I lose a rebate... If I bring my own money or if I uh, go to my credit union or bank and get a loan, I'm going to tell them I'm going to find another dealer, guys. I'm sorry. That's just the way I feel about it. If my money's not good enough for them, that they have to charge me more to bring it, then I'm sorry. I, there's lots of other dealerships out there, lots of other RVs for sale that don't do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos and uh, hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.